all right guys welcome back to another segment you know the world normally do it and i'm always here to give you updates that concerns chelsea and chelsea alone well the tension of getting a new manager is growing day by day like hour by hour you hear this one this manager is coming yeah this one this one is coming well i have a lot of updates to drop which i guess some of you have seen those updates but i just want to say it too, so that people some people that have not seen it we get the information through oblis tv but before i proceed to all this update i want to talk about i'm, I'm going to be talking about luis erique frank lampard link to chelsea and also julian negesman i'm going to be talking all of them in one piece but before i proceed please kindly like this video it won't take you anything as you watch you just like the video so that this can be recommended to every chelsea fans around the globe and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel and turn on post notification so that you get notified each time we drop a new post on this channel like i said before a lot of tension has been growing in the camp of chelsea on getting a new manager after the sack of thomas tuchel and now graham potter the the tension is really really high they are is is not like you know that when, when they sack tuchel it never even take chelsea less than 24 hours or let me say 72 hours they br they brought in graham potter because they have been an underground talk between the owner and potter you understand it was very easy for potter to come into the club but since potter failed to deliver he was sacked and now they are taking their time to get a new manager they are taking like seriously they are taking their time well i'm going to be reading one or two tweets for you guys that is trending and then uh, make some emphasis on those tweets then you can also drop your own thoughts on those tweets too all right let me start with this one chelsea from chelsea dodgers he said that chelsea are seriously considering making frank lampard caretaker manager until the ending of the season he is not currently being considered as a long-term successor but is open to returning in a temporary role well like for me i buy the idea of making lampard a caretaker is, is not a bad idea you understand but the thing is not lampard on that on when lampard was the coach of chelsea he did not do bad just that his second season in chelsea was not really really in 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 order you understand imagine lampard made chelsea qualify for the champions League, even without signing player on that so many issues you have to bring in some junior players from the from from the camp and Put them together and, and start getting results the likes of mount Riz james all of them and from there we won't get to know all these mounts there is james them all these players you understand so frank lapa being the caretaker for the main time till we get a new coach for me is not a bad idea like i told you people i know chelsea the owners they don't learn their lesson they don't put i don't teach them they don't put i don't make their eye don't open like they say oh this is premiership this is english football this is not USC. We will say once you buy the best this thing, uh, uh, best uh, player, you get results. Mm -mm. It's different. Even your best self go through every for granted if you don't bring good tacticians them inside. So they are taking their time in terms of this getting a new coach. It's not easy. But information get, getting to us is that Luis Erique has already arrived London. He has arrived arrived London for the job. For me, I go take him as job interview. You don't come for the interview to you understand. You don't arrive. You don't come for the job interview. Just though, Vive is still speaking on behalf of Negesman, and Negesman will be arriving soon too. So that's all these coaches they can come face to face with the board and they draw their plan day so that they can see what they can offer but so far so good Luis Erique has been the one trending because of so far the board is more okay with the kind of plans that Erique is putting on ground for them you understand they are more relaxed with Luis Erique's plan and with the look of things I think um Chelsea might consider Luis Erique. It all depends on their decision. They are, they don't want to rush into getting a new coach. Like I told you people before, they are just being careful. They don't want to make the same mistake where they make under Graham Potter. Do you understand? So for me, for me, I would have said that instead of rushing getting a new coach now, bringing negative money. I'm not saying that if they come, they will not perform more. 
but i would have said that chess is just chill allow lampard to just control this team for the main time we will not say lampard not too good but at this at least lampard know the culture lampard know the tradition of this club lampard know what it takes to play in chelsea lampard knows the the state at which chess is supposed to be you understand so for me i would say that as for the caretaker side i'm okay with it i'm okay with it but i mean i know that they cannot sign him on a permanent deal based on his past record but if the person who can't take care of the club to the ending of the season fine it's okay by me you understand because even though they have to sign a new coach right now even though if the coach come right now and did not start because i i want to chelsea fans they, they expect coach who could just constantly they give them results immediately asap but it doesn't work like that you understand for me me for like make them bring in the coach next season so that the coach could start the preseason with them study them well understand in players if not the ones where they go sign to bring in we can help and most actually that's you see that striking side we need a striker kai harvard i cannot put my eggs in kai harvard baskets we need a striker jao felix i don't see in signing now i don't the shakes once more because he's i don't understand but i know say definitely chelsea go put pull out talk about jao felix here to see if they fit sign up but the let's not have it in in some games he's he's been selfish you understand so for me getting Luis Eriko or negus man it's not a bad idea now but me have for same age just with the ending of the season how many games remain with just a sack putter and why employ another coach never to take time understand they would have just allowed either bruno to continue or they should bring in lampard you understand like i said everybody gets their own opinion and their own suggestion towards things you understand but for me that's what me i'm thinking that would that they should if if this tweet is really truth and is what is invoke eh, i will say that let lampard handle the thing for the main time see the ending of the season then we get a new coach that we take the boys to the promised land you understand which i know that definitely i know that the likes of todd bodley and uh, ibali they want and uh, that uh, luis erique based on his record based on waiting if he do you understand now big game changer and a big coach it's not that negative man it's not that negative man is not negative man is a big coach you understand but sometimes to move move move, move give some certain instance then between these two luis erico has been there he has been in the big league before negative man you understand which time way with the big team which time way negative man leave uh, leaves leaves it can they go coach bayern never to tell now but this man has been in the big league from Baka to Spain to coach a whole nature nation, nation. You, know, you know you know easy now Spain for that matter you can't go World Cup so his record is 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 something that he cannot compete with he gets me but I know that Veve is still he still wants a uh, negative man to come in based on saying I party man that they always stay on at this thing he wants negative man to come in because on he understand that it will be very easy to work with negative man than any other person even when uh, Potter was there he was not even I don't think he was even working alongside Potter just that in times of signing of good players they, they tried their best to bring in the best for Potter but Potter don't know how to use them so guys in terms of signing a new coach the tension is really really high we don't know whether it will be Negus man we don't know whether it will be Luis Eriquet but so far so good Luis Eriquet is hundred percent positive of returning back to duties as a coach which we don't know if Chelsea can bring that to limelight. You understand? So let's just see how everything plays. But remember, if the confirmation is clear, I will still come back here and tell you people. But for now, that is the update from the camp. Chelsea are pushing in to see if they can bring in Frank Lampard as the caretaker or they will consider Luis Eriqui or Negesma, any of these two, but so far so good. Luis Eriqui has been hundred percent positive towards the club in times of the new coach bid. But for now, do it to like the video, share, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on this channel I only give you updates that concerns Chelsea and Chelsea alone. My name is Peters.